large garbage occupy Wall Street. Brooklyn Branch protesters have taken it over, and now they deal with the impossible task of arresting thousands of people on the Brooklyn Bridge. Live reporting, we are engaged. not to get the brutality of what's happening. Let them document! This is Lugardowski here with Chris. Yes. Chris, you just got out of jail. Yes. And you just told me some amazing testimony of what happened today. Would you mind breaking that down for everybody online? Yes. Um, we were walking and we were marching in uh, nonviolent protest of what's going on in the world today, generally. Um, and we were corralled onto the Brooklyn Bridge by the NYPD. There is video evidence that will be coming out soon that was captured from the uh, pedestrian walkway that shows a uh, barricade of police officers making way for the march onto the bridge. Leading you guys in. Literally leading us in. So the police officers is first when the crowds passed. Yes. We're blocking it off. Yes. And then, and then as, the, as in the middle... Once they knew the trap was set, once yes. they knew that there were people there with the nets, once they knew that they had enough paddy wagons to block the bridge, once traffic had, had been shut down, they let people in. Yeah, and they guided people into the bridge. Yes. And now they bottlenecked them. Everybody was bottlenecked, and they came from the from the top and the bottom. Yes. They they stopped traffic on the first uh, two lanes on the right, uh, so that we could uh, pass in single file. Suddenly, it opened up. What happens in a march is when it opens up in terms of width, people have to close that gap because we don't want to be arrested. 
Yep. So everybody started running to close the gap. We ran past a number of cars, then there were no more cars. We got to the center of the bridge, we were penned in, literally, with nets. Yep. At this point, a number of people climbed up onto the, uh, onto the pedestrian walkway and escaped. The rest of us sat down in solidarity and linked arms. Mm -hmm. After a while, about four hours total, which was completely unnecessary, we were all physically arrested, except for the last remaining women, which apparently were let go. How many people in total do you think were arrested? Somewhere between 400 and 700. Wow. That's a lot of people. Well, Chris, thank you for your story. And anyway, anyway, yeah. Go ahead. I'm hearing testimony as well that there was a multi-million dollar donation made by a corporation. Yeah, $4.6 million by J.P. Morgan Chase to the NYPD Police Department today. just a couple of days ago. Yeah, no, the news was announced today, but this it happened a couple of days ago. must be investigated. This is NYPD corruption, I believe. And there's a video evidence that shows them creating a crime situation, which then they blamed on us. Yep, yep. Well, it, it, was, it was bullshit. They I had to talk it. to them about it. I talked to them over there, and I said, hey, thanks a lot for the trap, and they all laughed. Yep. I've been very nice to these officers. We've been very cordial. Everything's been going along quite smoothly over the last 15 days. They set the trap to make, make us look in the news like we're blocking traffic yes. and all that. Meanwhile, they guided us in, trapped us in there, didn't let anybody leave. Yes. And now we have J.P. Morgan Chase, who is deathly afraid of us. And this proves it. They're afraid of us. This is a good sign. Given $4.6 million unprecedented donation just a couple days ago to the New York City Police Department. I thank you for your courage. I no thank problem. you for everything you've done, and I thank you for talking to me. Power to the people.